Alrighty, how are we all? Have a listen to this shit. Just have a listen to this shit. What the government wants to do now. Just another tax, okay? And destroy people's lives. Just have a listen to this shit, right? I can't wait. Thanks, Sam. See you soon. Sydney, uh, not just Australia's harbour city, but it's also quickly become the nation's cocaine capital. With demand soaring, questions now being raised over the effectiveness of the hardline approach to the war on drugs. This morning we've got new insight, revealing high alcohol prices, the cost of rideshare apps, and the use of sniffer dogs in party precincts has fuelled a stay-at-home trend with users prioritising cocaine over going out to nightclubs. New South Wales Greens MP Kate Fairman has been campaigning for change on this issue and she joins us now in the studio. Good morning to you, Kate. Okay. Good morning. So you don't agree with the current approach. Why? Well, because it's clearly failing, right? We've kind of tried this approach for 50 years now, the so-called war on drugs. Uh, people in New South Wales, uh, in fact, across the country, are consuming most of more of most drugs, including cocaine. So in the last 24, in the last year, people of New South Wales consumed almost two tonnes, across the country, four tonnes of cocaine. So it's not working. So people are paying more for it. Uh, they're using more of it. More of it's coming into the country. The police are kind of seizing more, but overall there's just more of the stuff. So I think it's time for a new approach. And also this kind of dangerous substances that are being found in the drugs that people are buying off the black market. Yeah. So, so Kate, what you're thinking and proposing right now is that governments regulate the sale of cocaine as we do alcohol? Is that, is that right? No, but not quite as we do alcohol, but it's a discussion that we should have. Potentially, it could be regulated in terms of, say, buying it from a pharmacy. I mean, we've got to actually think about what we can do because honestly we've got more than 1 million Australians that are having you know using coke at some point every year that's a lot of people and we're just going to say look just don't use this stuff because people aren't listening to that so are you suggesting it should be legalized decriminalized so I, the Greens haven't come out and said this should happen. Okay. What I've kind of said is let's have a think about the way in which we could regulate it. Let's take it out of the hands of criminals. Like right now, a million people in this country are buying uh, cocaine from the black market and the police aren't stopping them. But isn't there a concern, though, that if you if you decriminalise it or regulate it, whatever word you want to use, that more people might then think, oh, well, it can't be that bad if the government is, hasn't made it illegal, so I might try it. You might get more people it's into it. It's a message that sits with Yeah, look, surely. you could say that about pharmaceutical drugs. Alcohol is a, can uh, is a toxin. It's a poison. It causes cancer. So uh, tobacco, of course, is exactly the same. I think what we need to start with is how do we save lives? How do we reduce the harm from drugs? Surely we're not stopping people taking drugs, like you're going two tonnes of the stuff in New South Wales alone. Uh, so what can we do to reduce the harm? If we make it regulated, provide health information, uh, restrict the supply, of course, to, to um, adults only, give lots of information, then surely that's better than what we're seeing now, which again is billions of dollars every year police are pouring into trying to stop something that they're failing doing. It's just so overt at the moment. You head to a night spot, wherever it be, whatever capital city you're in, and there are people sneaking off to, to toilets and the like. Um, are you fearing that if we don't change the way we sort of uh, govern that we might be in a worse situation. Look, you're right. So if you go out in Sydney, you've got lots of sniffer dogs trying to, to catch people for having like a bag of coke usually in their pocket. You've got lots of people uh, taking the drugs. What can go, what can be worse? Basically, the problem is just going to increase. So over the last five years, more people are taking those drugs, the police are pouring more money into it, more drugs are coming through our borders. So it's just going to get worse. I can't see it ending. What we can do is, is tax it and put that money, imagine, into there public we go. health services, tax into paying it. teachers more, into schools and hospitals, instead of into the black market. Oh, it's certainly a big conversation. It it's a big conversation. <laughs> okay. Thank you Thanks, so much Kate. for your time you. this morning. And to read more on this issue, you can head to coachinginc.com.au. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. But really, they want to just tax it.
they really couldn't give a fuck. They've looked at the percentages of people taking it, buying it, everything else like that, and they've just gone, you know what? You know what? We can make money on this, right? We'll tax it, okay? A bit like what um, Andrew's tried to do with the EV cars, right? The deal with the EV cars is this, is they don't pay a road tax, but they pay for their electricity that charges their car. And he got fucked over on that, if you remember, and he implemented a road tax. And you want to know why you cannot, you cannot implement a road tax um, on those EV cars? I'll tell you why, okay? It's as easy as this, because there is no excise on electricity. So, and that's why in America, it costs more to charge a Tesla than it does to fill an F-150. It costs $74 American to fully charge a Tesla, and it costs $66 American to fill up an F-150 in fuel. The range from the F-150 is 400 miles on petrol, and the range from the Tesla fully charged, right, is only 180 miles. So it's all a big fucking joke. And this is what they're saying now. They're only saying it because they want to tax it. It's just going to get worse, isn't it? Right? So what do you think of that? Fucking legalising cocaine. What's next? Why don't we just let everyone drink and drive? How about this first? Can you think of the bike riders and just leave us alone when we're doing 10 kilometres over the limit? Right? Because you're letting everyone else get away with it, but you're not fucking, you're knuckling down on decent people who just get caught doing 5 or 10 kilometres over. Fuck me, go get a pie, and don't legalise any fucking drug at all. I'm against it. You know it's bad for you. Uh, your choice, okay? You're just going to put more people on it if you do, okay? A bit like Dad. Adults buy alcohol, but then little Jimmy goes to the fridge. Yeah, mate, you can have a sip. So what's it going to be like if you can buy cocaine, right? Yeah, no, um, Tiffany, can you go get me uh, the, the plate, please? And that, she gets the plate, gets some on her finger. Hmm. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that's all right. No, it's not too much. You're only seven. They're staying home. They're not going out. Where are the kids? With them. Go get a pie.